What is up everybody out there on YouTube Fragrance Land? Thanks for joining me here again on my channel. I'm your host, Stephen Sturgill. Today, guys, we're looking at an old throwback. Not that old, but certainly not one of the more contemporary fragrances. We are looking at that bad boy there. Versace Man. <laughs> Just got this recently off, I think, either Fragrance uh, 7 or... Uh, the other website, I'm trying to think now. It's uh, anyways, one of the discounters at any rate for about uh, I want to say about 52 bucks after the coupon was applied. So, this is the larger 100 mil 3.4 ounce cap comes off, very gorgeous sprayer, that nice gold finish. What do we know about Versace Man and why am I talking about it here in 2018? Well. I talk about a lot of fragrances, some old, some new, uh, but what I like about this guy is that it was a very kind of a bold uh, statement for its day. It was very unique. Uh, I still think it's quite unique and uh, staying power. It has a lot of staying power. It has a lot of longevity, a lot of silage and it is a beast mode it is a beast mode frag for sure it is why do i say that uh, first off let's talk, about, talk a little bit about the history of the frag it was dropped in 03 so 2003 so it's been on the block for 15 years and counting it is a man scent although i do think women could easily rock this scent it's not that macho that a woman could not consider to wear it after all it is quite floral we're getting Neroli, bergamot, angelica flowers, uh, labdanum, and saffron. Uh, those elements combining sort of make it a very sort of a, a a very sort of floral uh, bouquet type fragrance. Well, saffron is in the heart, and labdanum is in the base notes. Now, now, where do we get any of the macho male element? Well, you get your black pepper in your top notes. You get your cardamom in your heart note. And you also get tobacco leaves, amber, and cashmere wood in the base, along with the labdanum. So, the tobacco here, to my nose, it's, it's present, but very muted, very soft, uh, very refined. It's not anything remotely close to either Tom Ford's, uh, really any of his tobacco fragrances, for that matter. I mean, certainly not... Um, Tobacco Vanille or the other tobacco, I can't think of it right now, Tobacco and Leather or Cuir, uh, Tobac, something like that. Uh, certainly not to La Yuquam from the house of uh, Rasasi. Uh, this is not anything like that. This is like a very refined, small dose of tobacco that's simply in there playing its role. But it's only a tiny supporting member of this cast. It's not at all in the front. It's not at all in the heart. It is in the base, but again, it's 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 very refined, and it's only it's only a small part of I believe of what's in the base. I believe the amber, cashmere wood, and especially the labdanum labdanum uh, play a much larger role in my opinion. Now, um, nose on this was did I check the nose? I don't know if I even got that information. Maybe a quick search sorry about that I thought I already had that loaded Let's see bam got it <clears throat> pardon me okay uh, was a uh, Dometia Michelin so I'm not gonna all list everything that they have done uh, not a very popular nose um, not a huge repertoire. They did Boss in Motion for Men. They did Touch of Pink for You Ladies out there as one of the Lacoste fragrances. And they did Laura uh, Biagiotti's Aqua di Roma Uomo for Men. Uh, pretty cool looking bottle. I would not mind to get my nose on that and give that a whiff. And also Emmanuel Ongaro. You know, Ongaro was huge, huge, huge back in the 80s and early 90s. Maybe even through the mid-90s, I'm not sure. And then started pretty much falling off um, the popularity cliff or bandwagon. 
she did Marilyn Rose for Women by Andy Warhol, and also uh, aired the Cabochard for Women uh, from the House of Grèce. Uh, and uh, Audi Dior, Colorescence Relaxing for Women by Christian Dior, and Azaro's Visit for Women. Uh, that's about it. So, not a lot to delineate. I uh, thought I'd get that out there. Okay, so back to the scent. What do I get? So, I already was wearing this earlier. Guys, I'm telling you right now, this is a two to three spray max and most occasions and you're done you're done this is beast mode i made the mistake earlier today of spraying about four at the outer limit five sprays spritzes of this could smell it on me obviously quite strong quite strongly quite prominently uh, initially then got outside my brother took me shopping we went around town um uh, just some shopping some window shopping this and that and the other and i literally had to roll the window down in his car he drove and i actually had to swear to, i'm not making this up i promise i had to roll the window down because i was starting to literally choke myself out <laughs> this is beast mode now the the oddity about it is that it's it's a very refined fragrance. It's very smooth. It's it's kind of, it's very floral, uh, but it also has quite a bit of the cheaper. Uh, to me, this is a cheaper fougere uh, category. Uh, it's not a freshy spicy, in the traditional sense. It's more of a fougere. Uh, you definitely get some herbaceousness going on in there, but it's it's very woodsy. You've got the tobacco in there. You've got the pepper. But you also have this huge floral and slight fruity component going on between the neroli, the bergamot, and the angelica flowers, and the saffron, giving it that creamy richness, and the labdanum, along again with that cashmere wood and the cardamom and the black pepper, and the amber and the tobacco, giving it this sort of counterbalance to all that floral stuff. And yet at the same time, it's just a very rich, elegant slightly feminine fragrance honestly it's not in the sense that not in the sense that i'm calling the fragrance feminine that's not at all what i'm saying i, I think it is a, a fairly manly scent but it is somewhat unisex in my opinion and i do think it has a certain femininity to it but i'm not saying the fragrance is feminine if that makes any sense you know what i'm saying i'm just saying like maybe it's 70% masculine, 30% feminine. I think that would be fair to say. So this really could be unisex. Uh, the smell is very refined. I think it's very distinctive. I'm going to go ahead and give two blasts. This is a phenomenal little blaster. Not the best I've seen, but it's more than adequate. Oh, wow. Immediately, boom. I'm, I'm hit with that amber, the, the cardamom. And the saffron combining right away with the neroli and the angelica flowers the bergamot or bergamot however you want to say it there comes the tobacco here comes the amber the labdanum saffron that cashmere wood now is coming in quite prominently ah oh, wow so good so 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 this this to me, is one of the greatest Versace, and I know if I've slammed her house a little bit in times past, and I want to make it clear, I am not some kind of Versace hater. I just, I am let down when they don't bring it. This is a home run. This is just flat out, they killed it. It's a home run. It's a goal. It's, a, you know, go home, the game's over. You know, the, the, you won the game. This is, this is literally, guys, a masterpiece. This is, if this were a piece of art, it would be hanging in, the Miro Museum or the Prada in Spain, uh, New York Art Museum, you know, you, you name, you know, British, you name your favorite museum, it's there. This is masterful, guys. It's, it's complex. It's layered. It's got, I think, most of everything that you could want in a, a refined, sexy, seductive, but yet very sophisticated scent. It's attractive. It's pleasant. Um, is it for everyone? Probably not, but that's often the mark of a masterpiece. I don't think most masterpieces are necessarily for everybody because they tend to go, 
uh, very strongly into one one area more so than a lot of cheaper, safer fragrances are willing to go because they don't want to alienate certain customers. Uh, but that doesn't mean this isn't well-rounded. I think for what it is, it's, it's exceptionally well-blended. I just think it is... It does certain things in, in somewhat of an extreme way. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean, on the one hand, it's soft, but it also does have that that little pepper kick, the cardamom, the cashmere wood, the amber, the tobacco. And some people may not have a nose for elements like that past a certain degree. They may not like that type of spiciness or dark sort of ashy uh, leftover to fresh tobacco. Not ash, but like... Uh, leftover tobacco leaves that are kind of old and then maybe you model them a little bit and you bring out some of that essence or some of the oil concentration it's just a very tiny hint but it's certainly there along with the amber and the cardamom the saffron but again it's also quite floral it's a very unique scent guys i have not ever smelled anything quite like versace man in the marketplace i'm telling you if you like great mature sexy vibe sophisticated scents check this out i know don't sleep on a 2003 throwback it is awesome but having said that i recommend you buy from very very trusted sources i have heard that online there are quite a few knockoffs going around don't buy a cheapy guys and just to save yourself 20 or 30 quid or dollars or rupees or whatever it is that you're you're purchasing in spend a little bit more from a trusted source and get something that lasts like i said the silage and the duration the longevity on this thing are beast mode insane nearly uh four frags that are not overly uh patchouli or oil based or, you know as far as like heavy heavy tobacco heavy heavy leather heavy heavy spice heavy heavy cinnamon this is not quite you know in, in the vein of let's see do i have it here you know this if you want to talk about beast mode guys this is insane this is this is astronomically, this is in a category unto itself. Uh, I have never in my entire life on this planet smelled a fragrance that has more just robust active projection. Just beast mode times two. This is Godzilla like King Kong. I hope I'm, I hope, <laughs> hope I'm not using trademark names, man. I'm just saying like as far as characters in the popular imagination, right? I'm not trying to use trademark names out there, but the, you know anyways i'm not here to wreck i'm just, you know we're not looking at that fragrance today we're looking at this and i'm simply saying that after that category this would still score very highly in terms of an average beast mode fragrance that just projects 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 and lasts much longer than you would think uh this type of fragrance would so absolute monster performance get out there get your nose on it order a sample if you don't feel 100% safe in buying this right off the bat. It may not be for you, but it probably will be. Give it a shot, guys. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for so, so much for joining in and tuning into the today's uh, uh, episode. I may be hopefully shooting another one here very quickly, and I will try to upload that if I can. But unfortunately, uploading in 4K takes a long, long time on my system. So I will see. Anyways, until next time, guys, much love, peace, keep doing what you're doing, keep rocking sense that you like, keep looking good, and keep achieving great things in your life. Um, until next time, spray well, spray often, and I will see you on the rebound. Peace.